Almost 24 hours after the county government issued an order to close public eateries that did not conform to its public health standard in the midst of the cholera outbreak, it isn't even noon yet, but hungry Nairobi residents are already beginning to stream into the roadside eatery in a corner of Nairobi. The city public health officers yet to make their way here. We are mapping out all any eatery, and when I talk about eatery here, I'm even talking about any hotel, regardless of the category, yeah, regardless of the category, are not only doing that, but also validating the food handlers. Ikisemekana ni sisi tuko inje, na ata kama ulisikia, uliangalia TV, ukasikia ma news, kuna watu walikojeka maali fulani na wako kuli, wako wa wamekula huku inje, walikuwa wamekula huko ndani. Away from the eateries, private water trucks still shuttle city streets. The water crisis in Nairobi now in its seventh month following the prolonged drought that saw water levels at the Ndakaini Dam fall. Their operations too on the line as the county struggles with a cholera outbreak. We are asking people to be careful. Let them look after their own hygiene. Wash your hands, wash fruit before you eat and uh, 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 do not such uh, um, things that uh, are, uh, are dirty. Mvua ndio naletaka vitu kama hizo korera nini vitu kama hizo. Hakuna mvua. Mahali maji natoka itibiwa vizuri. Since May, the county government says 336 cases of cholera have been reported, with only three deaths registered. The initial case being reported after a wedding party in Karen. This was followed by another outbreak reported at Western Hotel, where over 40 participants at a medical conference were affected. On Friday, top government officials, among them Cabinet Secretaries Henry Rotich and Aidan Mohammed, Principal Secretary Chris Kipto, and over 30 other participants who attended the National Trade Policy Week at the Kenyatta International Convention Center being victims. Sources, however, say many other cases have been reported in the last two months, the statistics though being withheld from the public. Citizen TV has also learned that the county government has set up isolation centers in Mukuru Kwayaba and Kwaruben, Pipeline Estate, Mamalusi Hospital, as well as Kenyatta National Hospital to deal with the rising cases. This, however, hampered by the ongoing nurses' strike. Open eateries, on the other hand, insisting that they are taking precautions. Chakula hapa ni fresh, sababu chakula hapa inatolewa tu kwa, kwa sokoni direct mbaka hapa, na tunapikwa tukiona hapa. Kuliko hile nyimekawa kwa fridge uko kwa, kwa, kwa fridge alafu wanapiga badai, ngini zinalala, lakini hapa chakula inaisha saa hiyo. Hile ipo, ni tuchemushe maji yetu, tufanye mahali unatengenezea kazi yako ikuwe clean, Cholera spreads through contaminated food and water. In order to prevent it, one is required to wash hands with soap and water after visiting the toilet and before handling food. One should also wash fruits and vegetables properly before eating. Members of the public are also required to drink only boiled or treated water and use toilets or latrines in order to halt the contamination of food. Proper hygiene cited as a key to halting the spread of cholera. Wilkes Anyabo Sunday Live.